machine I bought this morning and I've already determined that it needs suspension rods so what I did is I took one loose already off camera and I'm gonna put a lanyard on it Take both of the front ones off. Push that down and rotate it to where you can get it out and it should drop. So, this junk. I want to tip this up and I have this, this, this block of wood behind it. And where's my knee saver? Here it is. One of those rods already dropped out. Pretty clean machine underneath. Those look like they're gonna be 48s. But when I go out here, I've got some in the surface truck. Let me tell you, if you can keep a clean surface truck, you're doing better than me. Yep, that's my rods, 45s. Hmm. Let me check to make sure. Tell you what, that's a good box. It's a 48. It's 45s. These might be 45s. Yep, that's nope. not. So. And what I mean by 45s, if you look at the whole number, it's updated W1078-0045. We just used the last four, well, we in the industry only use the last two numbers of the part number for suspension rods. And you can't go wrong, it's always, unless you're ordering, of course. So I've got four here. I've got the replacements. I'm just gonna hang these rods and before I do I want to make sure these are the same. And you would measure from here. Some some different manufacturers see the for this rod here the they're not as, as good as the original manufacturer because you have a longer uh, barrel here for uh, the, the dampening linear dampener and you got a shorter one here but the thing is you want you want this right here to match the uh, the rod length right here so the spring on these are a little longer and the linear dampeners are longer but I'm gonna hang these up and and these holes right here. Let's see. Okay. You can see. Let's take a look at that Hang it. There we go. Put it inside. Got our machine back down. We're going to take an old rod. I'm going to take these. I ah, didn't want to do that. I need two of these. This trash right here.
Alright, what I do, I'm gonna take it and I'll hook, hook it and pull it up. This one's got fuzz all over it. Put the new one on. Turn it 90 degrees. Pump it. I don't know why these put this fuzz on there. There's a reason for it. Probably it originally had uh, dampening grease all up in that rod and maybe it was on there for the technicians to mitigate getting that stuff all over. That's the only thing I can do. I don't see where it does anything vital. Alright. Two down, two to go. So, let's grab this. Gonna let it go. Oh, I should have done this where I'd have more room. But I believe I can get to it. That old one away. I don't think it'll make it difficult for me. Fish all that out later. I'll reach up in there. that's in the slots so you don't mess anything up yeah let's see these are the new ones Just like that. Last one.
And that's how easy it is to change those. Oh, it did, didn't bounce nearly as it did. So, what we'll do now, a load of towels in it. Should have got those leaves out. Get those leaves. Out. Most of them. Must have been sitting under a, some kind of tree. I don't know what kind of tree that is. Once I clean this up. I think it's going to work for us. What I like to do is kind of overload them to test them. That way, if they pass my rigors test, then it should be okay if I seal it to somebody. Most people wouldn't put that many towels in a washing machine, but I will. I'm going to check that. Um, I'm looking for is a, a wobble here. And there's a wobble, it's about a quarter inch. It's probably going to be all right, though. All right. And I had this that I wanted to wash because I've been using it. Let's see what she'll do. Plug it in, water's on. Start sensing. There we go. We'll come back and what I found. We'll come back in about an hour and see what's going on. Thank you. 